<laughs> What's going on, everybody? We're back at the sand grain. We are gonna start opening some of these RNG things I got, see if I got any luck on my side, see if I can make a little bit of silver, maybe rotate my gear out, get some tets, maybe get better weapons, even though there's hella pre-orders on those. I don't know, we'll see. If you're planning on having a journey in the desert, you will need a camel. Start out with these soiled crescent rings. I'm not expecting too much from these bad boys. Usually they don't give you anything, but I just need 21 more to get that 100. In order to get the guaranteed crescent ring. Wow, that was crazy. Nice, good stuff. Alright, I got the 2 plus the 21 guaranteed. Well, I should have 22 now. So, boom. There we go. That would be a total of 3 crescent rings right there. And then, if we go to the central market right here... I did find two earlier, so I've gotten a total of five for the past, I think it was three hours I was grinding. Not too bad. Alright, now we got this Radiant Adventure Box. It does have a lot of crazy stuff inside of it. I'm not expecting anything crazy like that, but you never know. I would like some advice of Valks, to be honest. Classic Alpha Box would be good, you know. But mainly, the advice of Valks. That's the key we want. Here we go. All right, we're going to stop it on my favorite number, 21. Combo Blessing, not too bad. 15 days, that's pretty sweet. The real desert begins from here, Barhan Bazaar. Even the greatest horse won't. Might as well upgrade my skills while I'm on the move. I'm glad when I came back that was an actual thing they added in that wasn't when I originally played. So this is a great, great thing. I love messing with my skills on the go. It's kind of like a mini multitask, I guess you could say. Before you weren't able to do it, you just 
it always tell you can't do it in this current position so you'd always have to stop moving mess with your skills and then you'd be able to keep walking but man this is a huge addition Totally spaced out on that other video though. Um, hit level 60, forgot to show you the rewards. Um, I already collected the other rewards, but you get this one for hitting level 60. You get the two 100 gram or 1000 gram gold bars for 100 million silver a piece. Get the enhancement help kit two. It's got a lot of those good enhancement stones in there. I like the Valks crab in there, it's really great. And you get that advice of Valks plus 40, pretty good. Might be able to make an easy trial with that. I don't know about Tets, but we'll see. Probably good for accessories. But I'll claim that right now. I was lucky enough to manage to get a single tier 4 pet. He's uh, pretty sweet. He's the mount pet, the PlayStation exclusive pet. But, I mean, you can just buy it off the market. But this bad boy got the tier 4. Got that mount experience plus the combat experience on there. Loving him. Loving it. Always remember to have your pets on and make them aggressive when collecting items and you're farming. We also got this new event, um, the event Eternal Winter, where it gives us the Eternal Winter Necklace, plus, what are they called, Eternal Winter Snowflakes, Snow Crystals, I'm sorry about that. Basically, you get, I think it's two crystals a day, plus one necklace a day for a total of three hours of playtime. You can upgrade the necklace up to pen, 100% guarantee chance all the way up and basically you just return to Vilia and give it to the quest guy and he gives you bundles of materials for each tier. You can only turn it in once per tier, so only one pen, only one tet, so on and so forth. But if you actually spend the time to get those rewards, um, you actually make more than selling it outright. Because we go to selling it outright, everything gets sold for a million a piece on those bad boys. So it's like about 3 million a day. Or if you make the pen and lower, you've got about like 20 to 30 million in revenue. Not too bad for an event. Just a heads up guys, um, I tried doing all the questing, clearing all the way up to Valencia 2, thinking that would get me from 59, level 59, and 43% to level 60. Unfortunately, it did not. Got me about 10% for all those quests, so I had to grind out that other 50% those last three hours. It wasn't too bad, it was just 
painstaking and you know you actually have to get down to it I do have a tier 4 fairy, but unfortunately her miraculous cheer is garbage, so I'm thinking about trying to rebirth her at some point. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you think. Marketplace director, Lucy Benkham. This game is very big. A lot of it does take place running around the map, but if you have a fast horse, you can clear the whole map in minutes, so it really doesn't phase you that much. Here's the whole map right here. It's uh, it's really, really, really massive. So anything that's lit up or colored, I should say, I've discovered, I've explored. And there is a lot of areas I haven't explored. All this over here is still all smoky gray all that over there but if you just look at the scale of the map it's actually insane and the detail on the map is really good too because you can just kind of zoom in and see where everything is little trees little rock formations all that good stuff I'm almost at my 500 hour playtime marker. I haven't quite gotten it yet, which means I know I'm rounding the corner on it. Wouldn't say I'm a veteran, but definitely wouldn't say I'm a noob or an amateur. Best way to get upgrades is buying them off the central market. I know a lot of people enhance, a lot of people enhance for profit. Um, enhancing does take a lot of skill, a lot of patience, a lot of money. But as you see, the rewards are astounding. 1.8 for that Tet right there. Check out the Zarka Battle X. Oof, a lot of tries going on right now. Kind of went down in price. Ooh, a lot, 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 a lot of buyers for the tets, unfortunately. So I can't even put a pre-order in if I want, if I had the money to. I mean, I would pre-order a Tet Kudum Shield because I want that extra AP against monsters. But look how many pre-orders are on those. It's absolutely madness. Never be able to get it. I'll just have to enhance it myself.
what I always recommend buying your upgrades instead of just trying to enhance it. You'll lose a lot of money, especially as a new player. As a new adventurer, I would always recommend talking to your black spirit. Um, when you start at the game, it'll be just down on the D-pad. Um, talk to him. You'll have these little quests. Um, your main quest will have these swirl icon right there, right to the left of the commissilia. Um, follow that quest line. It'll pretty much get you starter gear, um, show you the ropes on how to play the game, good areas to farm, especially in the early levels. It'll teach you the ropes and help you get acquainted to Black Desert because Black Desert is a massive game. There are a lot of guides online. I look up a lot of guides myself to find out what I'm doing. Um, so I'd recommend that to anybody else is to find another YouTube video if you're looking for a special guide because there's tons, tons of guys out there that'll show you how to make money, um, how to get crazy uh, experience for your life skills. I mean, it might even show you how to easily get Valk's cries or enhancement chances who knows there's a bunch of stuff to do in this game bunch of content creators out there and it, it's worth a look because you'll learn a lot Forgot to consume some items to get me a little speed boost to get me there quicker. Always eat your food. Food grants you buffs. And the buffs um, are hidden stats that don't show immediately um, on your like attack and defense power. But they interact when you fight monsters or when you do life skills. That's when the actual boosts take effect. So you always want to eat. The best meal I can recommend for just everyday grinding is this bad boy right here. Simple cron meal. Look at all those boosts it gives you. Um, it's great. Everything about it is great. I'm so glad they introduced this into the game. Um, pick one up, pick several up, keep eating them. It'll also increase your health stat because you're eating food. So it, it just works as a, a, a double-edged sword to stab your enemies with. I'm also just playing in the Ol Olvia servers right now because um, every time there's a new character release, new class release, uh, there's a lot of people out there who are looking for those new classes in the regular servers and are just hunting them down just for fun because they know their new class, they're not going to be as strong as their uh, old class, and it just brings this bullying aspect into the game, so I prefer to stay away from that while I'm leveling. Now that I'm not leveling, as soon as I get to Vilia, I'm going back to my uh, Aferia 2 uh, PlayStation server and going to be chilling there. That's usually where I chill. I am on PlayStation, obviously, from the uh, control scheme. But it's, it's difficult when you're trying to raise a new character in the regular servers because you get picked on a lot. So that's why I'm just in Olvia, plus that extra 100% combat experience really helped when I was grinding up to level 60, so keep that in mind.
one of these days in the future i'm going to uh show you what the chat can be like i mean there's tons of videos out there showing what chat how toxic can can actually be and what they actually say like it's really ridiculous sometimes so i'll show you that right now i just wanted to show you the the game what i'll be doing kind of give me an introduction right there um i wanted to clean out the screen as well too give you a nice view of what i'm doing where i'm going all the textures and stuff this game is really beautiful um, i'd highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for a game to play Who knows, maybe I'll get enough people that like my videos that want to actually start a clan or a guild with me and then we can party up, chill out, hang out, play around, make some videos together. I'm usually down for anything on Black Desert. There he is. This is my boy, my pride and joy. He is a dream horse. Unfortunately, I have not been training his skills because I'm training guardian, but I'm just probably gonna buy a horse training ticket and just train all the skills all at once because a lot of these skills are painstaking especially when you have them all together like that Welcome to Valia. Need to use the storage? All right, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Hold on, let me make it pretty for you guys. There we go. Nice shot for everybody right there. Well, this is Velia, the town where everybody used to hang out in. Now it's Heidel, but this is where I just have some of my stuff here. But this is where I'm going to wrap up the video. Thanks for joining me on the second part of my first adventure, showing you just kind of what Black Desert is. I really hope you join me on the next video of my series. It's just going to be really chill. Just hang out, grab some snacks. We'll get down to it. This is Dat Boy Thick. Thank you again for watching this video. Please hit that like button. Let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments. Have a nice one now.